Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Inspirational Moments with me, Joy. I am hoping that you are having a beautiful, lovely day, evening, morning, night, or whatever time zone you're in. I'm here to give you a little inspiration from my book, well, one of my books, Quotes That Make You Say Oh, from Instagram to your hand. You can pick up part one, three, or four, um, by ordering from me, go to be the difference LLC.com. Um, but in the meantime, what we typically do is flip through and I'll do it with my left hand. Actually, no, I'll do it with my right hand. Cause we haven't done these in a while. And if I stop on a quote that I've already read, I'll read it and then flip again. Um, there's a lot of pages, so we can come up with something new. We'll talk about it and then you'll comment below and let me know what you think which quote may have stood out the most to you and um if you agree or if you have another idea about it it's good let's have a conversation so here we go hmm. oh you can't expect everyone to communicate the way you prefer see them halfway amazing things can happen when you're on one accord you can't expect everyone to communicate the way you prefer. See them halfway. Amazing things happen when you're on one accord. There it is. Um, I like this quote because it's a great reminder uh, that we are individuals, no matter how many commonalities that we have and share we still are individuals we still think and have perceptions that are different than what the person who is speaking may think so if you know someone may have not understood what you said or may not be pretty much on the same thought process as you maybe meet them halfway so that you can both start to think on one accord one we are thinking on one accord as humans beautiful things can happen not just amazing but beautiful things imagine being able to communicate and understand what someone else is saying and you both go from there and you both are like okay you can be in agreement or you can work out the discord or disagreement and become better uh, i think that helps us understand that communication isn't just one-sided a lot of times we do a lot of one-sided communication you know you think for yourself and the other person that's one-sided but we shouldn't be thinking for other people because they have their own will and freely should be doing so but if you stump their will of freely thinking how they would like and especially when they're communicating something specifically to you but you decide to ignore well <laughs> discord happens and aren't we tired of having discord i like that quote let's go again seems like my right hand is giving something good okay sometimes you really need to get out of your own way sometimes you really need to get out of your own way um that quote was inspired by a former friend of mine and um, they used to say something similar to that and I kind of just took some of it and wrote something new -er. and I just believe that um, we stump ourselves by getting in our own way getting in our own way could be like doubt fear those things will stump you and sometimes when you are just like, okay, I'm done. I'm done with just being myself and I'm done with just being my old typical negative self and believing that nothing is possible. My doubts and fears take over me. Man, big things can happen if you just step aside. I like that. Thank you, former friend. Oh, we've done these already. Be thankful for your beautiful eyes 
not everyone can see. We've done that one before. I remember the conversation we had with that. Let's see. Mm. The people you lie to usually find out the truth. Save yourself the embarrassment. We've done that one as well. Now let me switch up to the left hand. The right hand is getting a little hot, a little dry. Let's see. Stop waiting for the right time, right day, right year, ETC. Whatever you do, stop waiting and just go. Stop waiting for the right time, right day, right year, ETC. Whatever you do, just stop waiting and just go. I like this one, guys. You want to know why I really like this one? Because, uh... We often trick ourselves into not getting the things that we really desire. Because we're like, oh, well, I'm not financially secure yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm not emotionally ready yet. I just don't have it yet. Or you just have the veils over your eyes and you don't see that it's right there in front of you. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, maybe it's a business, maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a, a work thing, who knows? But anything human related, we tend to become very hesitant sometimes. There's nothing wrong with having a healthy concern, but there's a difference between having a healthy concern and hesitancy and hesitancy that prevents you from moving forward. Stop. That's the only time we really should be utilizing that stop sign. Stop. Stop stumping your growth. Stop stumping your life. Stop stumping the elevation of things that could be just right for you because you don't think it is the right time. When is the right time for anything anyway? There is no such thing as a right time. It's either you do or you don't. And when you do, you get the reaction that you want or don't want. There's no sidestep and there's no, ah, stop delaying and try it out. What's the worst that can happen? What, I guess just you not getting your own way. That is the worst that could happen. But typically, if you've been doing all of the things that you're supposed to do and you've been flowing with life the way that you should, then everything that you attract will be right for you. Bam. Mm. Imagine, in order for your wishes to come true, it required you to give up something you feel you can't live without. Would you give it up? Take a leap of faith. Either way, you'll land on your feet. We've done that one before. After, after reading it, I'm just like, okay, I remember that one. The biggest con, believing beauty is only skin deep. A beating heart filled with love is breathtaking. The biggest con, believing beauty is only skin deep. A beating heart filled with love is breathtaking. I like that one. I like that one too. Wow. One day, when we're tired of being distracted by different things and really see the essence of a heart that's where beauty begins your soul what is your soul permeating what is your soul aroma what is your soul bringing out does it bring out that smile that you have does it bring out that laughter that you just need to let out? Does it bring out those ideas? Does it bring out the happiness that doesn't have to be bottled up inside of you? Your beauty shows brilliantly and most through the beats of your soul. So what is your soul beating today? What is that beating? What is it beaming? What is it breeding? What is it showing? What is it sharing? Because out of your mouth flows what your heart really knows. 
I hope you enjoyed this. I did too. Grab my book at BeTheDifferenceLLC.com. Don't forget, I am doing pre-orders for part four currently until we have it in hand. So feel free to email me at info at BeTheDifferenceLLC.com if you are interested in a pre-order of part four. I'm happy that that came out. If you have not realized it, you are beautiful and amazing. And also, I do a talk show every single night between 7 and 9. It's called Hello World. We talk about everything and anything. So until we meet again, let me know what you think about these quotes. Um, let's talk, guys. Talking and sharing not only is caring, but it helps us to develop a better mind. So help me, let me help you, and let's keep on growing together. Humanity first, y'all. Humanity first in everything that we do. I'll see you soon.